Welcome back. Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. Thank you for joining us on this Friday. Or you might be watching this on Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure. But anyway, before we get too far into this video, I just wanted to say I feel good. Thank God. I feel amazing. And on this day that this was recorded, I was feeling really happy. And we were going to celebrate the fact that I was feeling better on my antibiotics. So we're going to Target for dolls. Actually, we didn't really go to Target for dolls, but that's what ended up happening, doll hunting. And I know before some of y'all <laughs> quit out of this video, let me explain and just keep an open mind, okay? This video really is more about doing what makes you happy, being your authentic self, celebrating life, laughing a little bit, you know, enjoying yourself and not being so judgmental or hard on yourself and on others, okay? So what I love about Kenton is he really accepts me for who I am. He's never really trying to change me and I really appreciate that. He knows that we all have different sides to us. Sometimes I can be super serious and introspective and other times I just want to be goofy and playful and he's cool with that. So keep an open mind and let that inner child of yours come out because I know he or she is in there somewhere. Let's go to Target. Okay, now that you and your inner child have joined us, <laughs> let's go and have a little fun in Target. This was literally the weekend before 4th of July. So we're just kind of looking around. 4th of July cookies loaded with sugar and color. Nope, I don't want any. I don't want any. Potato chips, all the typical American stuff. But you know what? For once in my life, I can honestly say I'm not tempted, not interested. Because all I can think about is preventing disease. <laughs> it's actually kind of quiet here. Oh, let me look at the Tabitha stand and see if they got anything on my size wouldn't that be nice wouldn't that be nice stop trying to see but they might anyway all these tiny little bikinis do you really think any of this can fit me look at this look at this tiny thing no they don't really have anything because this is not Tabitha Brown her stand is right here absolutely empty we love you, but we don't have enough of you. I mean, this won't even fit Miriam, to be honest, right? This is a small, this won't even fit Miriam. It's more like a medium size. Here's a nice beach bag. Hey, Ken. <laughs> you wanna model it? <laughs> As I warn into that. <laughs> <laughs> Headbands, hair clips. I don't know. Target today seems very quiet. Kind of. Hmm. Maybe that's what it is. All right. I need to try on some glasses. Okay. Let's try these checkered frame glasses. I actually think they're kind of cool. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know what happened to the audio because Kenton was recording me. But anyway, yeah, I think those were actually kind of cool, especially now that I look back. Might go back and get them. And then what about these? These actually go a little bit with my dress. And they're kind of neutral, but they're still kind of out there fashionable. Not bad. <laughs> actually, I really need to go get some prescription sunshades. Um, I'm going to go for an appointment to get some sunglasses, but they need to be prescription because I can't be like going back and forth. I'm sure if you've been to Target, you've seen Target Dog, right? I can't help it. I see Target Dog, I gotta sit down and take a picture. <laughs> so let's position ourselves and harass this dog. <laughs> Ooh, silly peace, deuces. Can I borrow the hat, dog? So ridiculous, right? So ridiculous. Anyway, bye Target dog. It was nice. I'll see you later. I'm in the toy section. This is my favorite section, but I haven't been in this area for a while. 
But you know, sometimes I like to allow myself to be a child or to have that inner child. I'm not a child, but to have that inner child out. So we're in front of Rainbow High, but I'm going to uh, look at these pretty dolls. And I actually don't have any of the Rainbow um, Junior High section. Let's see. We're going on winter break. Oh, look at Bratz. I grew up with Bratz. I didn't know they came back with the Bratz. What? I'm gonna have to get Bratz. Love these dolls. This is Sasha. I used to have a Sasha. I actually have like a whole bunch of their clothes somewhere. Because one time we moved and the dolls disappeared, but I still had their clothes. Man, I can't wait to have a grandchild one day. But with my type of kids, that ain't happening anytime soon. <laughs> Look, they got a Harry Potter. So cute, so cute. I'm not into boy dolls, but oh, look behind, there's a little girl one. Look, Hermione, Hermione Granger, but she doesn't, I don't know. Fine, okay, we'll come back. We'll come back and look at you some more. Let's see what else is out here. This Polly Pocket. Nana dolls. Not really into these with the painted on eyes. She's pretty. Georgia. She's pretty because you know why? It's like she's got a wider nose. So she could be ethnic, kind of, but then she's got this girl hair <laughs> or orange hair maybe she's spanish a youtube logo on there I do like the our generation dolls and i have two of those you can buy these little packs like look at this one this is like a mini doctor set that is so cute right so cute i need to give this to my doctor because <laughs> apparently oh, this is what she needs and then look at this one. Oh my God, so adorable. I might get this. This one's got a little ice cream, the vintage ice cream milkshake maker with the straws and everything. Oh, I love these little packs. This, uh, I already have this. This is a popcorn maker. Can you believe it? I actually have this. And here's a little lunch pack or lunchtime tray with some spaghetti and meatballs and there's juice and there's vegetables. Did your lunch look this good when you were growing up? <laughs> oh my God, so cute. And this is a little like, nail salon pack. Okay, what else? There's the little bird. If you had a daughter or a granddaughter, would you buy this for them or for yourself? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But anyway, our generation dolls, which is this line of dolls, is found at Target. And it's quite affordable because in comparison to the American Girl doll, which I believe they compete with, American Girl doll nowadays run for about $115 and up, whereas our generation runs for about $34.99 and up. So not bad. How adorable is this little party set? It's got like the donuts, pizza, ice cream, candy. Oh my goodness, sandwiches. And then over here, there's like a little barbecue set. Um, is it barbecue set? I don't know. But anyway, this one's got a stretcher. <laughs> Your poor doll, she's sick. She needs Medicare. She's got a stretcher. There's a pulse ox there. Can you see the pulse ox? There's like tape and scissors. Yeah, you can check her oxygen. You can check her blood pressure, everything. So you never know. <laughs> Your little girl or little boy might grow up to be a doctor just by playing with some of these toys. This one's got like a wheelchair, even crutches. Oh, stethoscope, bandages. Wow, these people think of everything. I wish they had stuff like this when I was growing up. So then I went back to this brand, the Rainbow High Collection, and I like this doll's skin color. Very pretty, very dark, very cool. Look at the hair, not bad, right? Hmm. And then I found this one. Look at her, she looks like some kind of musician. I believe her name is Vanessa. I'm loving the hair. Look at the hair, look at the jewelry. 
Look at her jeans. She's got a drum set. Look at her coat. Oh my God, I really like her. Look at her brown eyes. And then every now and then I want to dye my hair like some crazy color. And this doll right now is giving me that. <laughs> But look at this one. Ooh, she's super pretty too. I like the purple and pink hair. Oh, and then they got these LOL dolls. And uh, I used to kind of like them, but now I'm kind of off of them. Those eyes are a little bit too much for me. This one is supposed to be inspired by Beyonce. You see that royal bee? Yeah, she was supposed to be inspired by Beyonce, I believe. Then I find these, and this is different. This is like a black and white shadow look. It's like they have no skin color. They're almost like ghosts of themselves. Really cool. That one's like just pure white. Pure white, no color. Very interesting. And I'm standing there thinking, ooh, which one? The Harlequin looking one with the black and white hair or the pale all white doll? Hmm, very cool. And then look at this one. This one is like literally jet black. Like her skin color is not even like black as in dark skin. This is just jet black. But again, I think this line of dolls, they're made to look like shadows of real people or, you know, almost like, I don't know. Cool, I can't make up my mind. I can't make up my mind. <laughs> Should I get the little brown skin one with the, you know, colorful braids looking Caribbean girl? Or should I get this one? Or should I get that one? Which one would you have gotten? Hmm, choices. I'm so excited. I got one. I got one and you're going to see it soon. Upstairs in my office, you can see it's dark. Oh, I can see some people. Are they walking? Looks like it. Yeah, it's gotten quite dark, like I said. Um, stormy. Anyway, y'all never saw or you didn't get to see what doll I bought, right? You want to see what doll I bought? What doll I bought? Y'all know I love my dolls, right? <laughs> Including the ones I customize. You can see Ayodele straight ahead on the second or third shelf. I can't believe she bought another doll into our queendom. We are special. We are handmade custom dolls and she has the nerve to bring in this over-the-counter doll from Target. The nerve! I can't wait to see this doll. I hope she's somebody special because I'm not sure she belongs here. We'll see. ta -da! Here she is. She's home. And the other girls are just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> She is a rock star and she is one of the special edition. And even though the tag at Target where I picked her up said $29, of course, Habiba, so typical. This is the one of the special editions, so this was $50. So she was a little pricey, but uh, I'm going to enjoy her. Definitely going to enjoy her. She is adorable and she is definitely going to fit in with my collection. So I hope you enjoy this little video. Again, I know it's not my typical video or, or vlog, but every once in a while, it's nice to do something different and just explore that inner child. Don't let that inner child that is within you die. <laughs> That's your creative self.